Hey YouTube, it's Isis, and today I'm going to do a full collection tour. So the last time I did one of these was in my first video ever, and it was not very good. So I'll take you through my grow spaces and show you how big my collection has got <laughs> since, um, I guess it was probably midway through June when I made my first video. Okay, so I'm outside. This is my outdoor growing space. It's this big wire shelf um, that has a curtain over it that I use for shading. And we'll just start up here. So this is where, um, in the back there, is my uh, Pacavia, the Tanabrosa by Lelia Preparata. You can see the flowers are fading, but just for kicks, I had um, pollinated this uh, this flower with my Praetii, this plant here, the one that is um, Gattata by Digbiana. So just for fun, um, I pollinated it and I think I'm actually getting a seed pod there. Um, but yeah, and the lower flower opened later so it's still there. And then here is a new plant that I haven't talked about. I will in a later video, but I got it when I uh, was on vacation. I went home to Houston um, to see my family and I went to Clown Alley Orchids and of course bought some orchids. So this is Brassavola David Sanders. It's a cross between Rincolalia digbiana and uh, sorry, Cucolata. And then I also got Rincolalia digbiana. And here is my Encyclia cordigera. It's new growth. It's doing really well. Getting, getting really big. And back there is um, what is the name of that one? That one is Peniana. So it's Penny Carota by Rincolalia Digbiana. I had a sheath that dried out. Nothing was in it. Then down here on this tray are um, all the plants I got from uh, Sunset Valley orchids. And I repotted some of them and it turned out some of them were two plants. So for example, actually two to three plants. So this is Arontoglossum and this one back there is around to glossum. This is Leo Lotta glossum. Uh, sorry, totally messing up these names, but basically I ended up with a lot more plants than um, the original 10. I think it expanded to 14 or 15 plants that I had total. Mm, just 14, I think. Anyways, um, nothing too crazy going on. So this is my uh, Miss Wonderful. And it has this sheath here, but not, there's nothing in it. Um, and then we just have some growths maturing. There's nothing too fantastic happening here. Um, and then back there is my new Vinny colored Tenebrosa. This is uh, another Tenebrosa that I got from SBO. This is my Glauca. Down here are some other random bifolates. There's my Brassavola nidosa. This is, oh, this one I showed you guys in a previous video when I first noticed the buds. This is Luke Tone by Blackjack. Um, and I thought there were three buds, but there's actually four. It's coming along nicely. You can see they're getting really dark because this is gonna be a very um, dark red uh, flower, I think. And, oh, this one's interesting. This is one of those plants that uh, it wasn't doing anything before I staked it. And now you can see there's like tons of roots going on in there. So I'm really happy about that. And this guy, this new growth has a sheath. Sorry, I'm to get that focused. So that's great. Besides that, not much going on down here. Just some other random uh, bifolate crosses. This is actually a new plant I got today. It's... Um, Dialalia Snowflake by Lelia Anseps. It should be produce a really big spike, I think. Back there is an Encyclia Profusa, and this is my Catlia Maxima by Brassavola Nidosa. And down here is my um, Catlia Schofieldiana. So I was told by the grower I bought it from that it will bloom green and then over time the flower will darken so 
keeping an eye on that. And then back there is my uh, Catlia Quadricolor. And this here is my um, Rustic Spots, who's doing a lot better since I've repotted her, or him. I'm not sure if I call this one a boy or a girl. Um, but this growth has definitely um, gotten a lot bigger. And then these three are my Lelia Purpuratas, and we got some new growths happening. Maybe a new growth there. Definitely a lot of new roots. Actually, check this out. It's so funny looking. All these little new roots are just popping out. And then there's another one. So these three are d three different varieties. I have like a regular one, uh, an Alba, and a Carnea, which is uh, pink. Okay, let's go to a different growth space. Okay, so now we're at the window above my kitchen sink where I keep a lot of my oncidiums. These poor things that I like hardly talk about. And then also some other um, plants hanging. So sorry, all this is gonna be back, but I'll do my best to move the plants so you can see them. So this is my Sherry Baby, not much going on. This is Miltasia Shelob, not much going on. Got a spike on this one. So this is a no ID Brassia, but, um, I think it's, oh, I can't think of the name, but I figured out what I think it is. It's like Kauai's Choice or something. I'll put it up on the screen. Um, this is Red Rendezvous. Wait, Space Mine Red Rendezvous. It's almost done. And then my little seedlings, Brassia, Mil uh, Miltasia, and a No ID. This is my Sweet Sugar type Oncidium, and it also has a spike, which I just noticed the other day. And over here is my Maasai Red. And this thing is nuts. It needs to be watered so much. Um, it matured this pseudo bulb since I've had it. And it has a new growth back there. And it's also maturing this growth here. And I basically have to water it like every other day because um, it just uses so much water. And here are all my hanging orchids above my kitchen sink. So that's uh, Rinko stylus gigantea. Um, this is Tulumnia Hawaii volcano, Podengus dactylorceris, another Tulumnia, and then my newest Oncidium calicum. I can't quite remember. Here's my Rinko stylus gigantea from Wade, and it's putting out um, a new leaf there and it has this cute root that has found its way out. And over here by my Beta's fish tank are um, my, uh, it's my Paphiopetalum and all of my Phalaenopsis. I got this cool um, hanger thing um, when I went to the Renegade craft fair in San Francisco. So not much going on with my Phalaenopsis or my carnivorous plants. They're all just growing, putting out roots, putting out new leaves. I guess the major news with these guys is that they all have mealybugs. So I've been trying really hard to cure them of the mealybugs. But they're starting to look okay. And these shelves are my main grow space, which are horribly backlit right now because this is the time of day where everyone gets um, a little bit of sun. So I'll just start at the very bottom here. And this is kind of my back bulb area. So here you can see this is a bulb that fell off of my uh, Cattleya Maxima by Nodosa. This I just updated you guys on this back bulb and this one, so those are my two rescues. There's Wade's back there. And this is uh, another new plant I got when I went to Houston. This is Catlia Small World. Um, it's Luteola by Eclandii. And then back there is my Maxillaria tenifolia. And then just over here next to my cat's bed is my um, Arontiaca. Then one level up, these are my seedlings. A lot of these are wades the seedlings I got from Wade, and some are um, seedlings I got in uh, June that turned out to be multiple plants. So there's like Catlia Maxima, um, Intermedia, another Intermedia, 
This is the Grossii that I got from Wade and Peccaviensis and all my little Dendrobiums. This tall one right here is Sunny Delight by Richard Mueller. Everybody's doing really well, putting out new growths and just being generally happy. And if we come over here, we have more seedlings. Um, up in front are my two Eclandii, which are doing very well. This one, I showed you guys in a few videos ago, but uh, it's matured that growth, which is very nice. Um, that's a Intermedia. This is um, Kalamata, which is uh, Intermedia by Eclandii. This is a fancy uh, SVO hybrid um, that is spotted. It's almost like a creamy color with pink spots. I saw it in bloom and I was like, oh, I have to have that. And then this is my Seedling Central. I won't go through all of these. They're mostly spotted. Um, this is Leopoldii. And behind it is Lime Sherbert, I think it was called. Let's see. Yeah. Lime Sherbert by Brassful Little Stars. And other um, seedlings. Wine Eye Leopard. This, oh, shout out to Mouse Lily channel, Pam there. This is a um, catlia I got from Trader Joe's, and it's Angel Love by Skinnery, I think. Let's see. Yeah, Elsie Angel Love by C. Skinnery. So um, Pam had uh, noticed that a lot of Trader Joe's catlias have love in the name. Oh, and here's my Irene Fell Ruby Red. And let's see, back here is a orange one. I think it's like Rojo by Fuchs Orange Nugget. It's a nice one. Hanging in this basket here is my Schilleriana. I potted it in a basket with lava rock. Uh, a Wanagara Apple Blossom, and this is a Miltasia, Estralita Sweet Senorita. Um, back here is BC Benosa. This is Lelia Pumilla, which has put this, um, this new growth here out for me. And this is my Sideria Japonica, grew this new leaf. And this is my Emisiella Monticola, which is such a slow grower. It took it months to put out this new root. And moving on, here is um, my new Encyclia Marie, and this is the um, Peccaviensis that I did a video on potting, and you can see right, oops, sorry, right there is a new growth. Um, this is Hippodamia, back there is Morning Glory, back there is BC Maikai. Up here are more Metlassias that are probably getting way too much sun. Um, probably Charles M. Finch and another Estralita. This is a rescue um, Brassia that's growing a new growth. And this is my Fal Speciosa, which is growing tons of roots. And then back here on this work table, I kind of have overflow plants and all of my um, Dendrobiums are here. So this is Fire Wings. Uh, this one is Spectaboli. This is my little Atro. Sorry for all the shadows. Um, here are two um, species seedlings. This is Leopoldii, and that one back there is um, Intermedia. Here's my Scheherazade. Um, that's SLC Jewelbox Scheherazade. This is a dying orchid, um, Jiminy Cricket, which is Brassavola nodosa by Galalia digbiana, I think. And this is a rescue. Um, I should probably find a better place to put these. And over here I have, this is like right by my TV, um, I have a special secret project that I haven't shared with you guys before. Um, I deflasked some Cattleya eclandii and I am growing them in this um, plastic tub here 
with sphagnum moss and clay beads at the bottom. I'm keeping them mostly sealed up because they're all pretty tiny. And I'll talk more about this later because it was like a whole thing and it's not succeeding very well. You can see there's a little bit of mold growing, but not a total failure. I'll talk more about it later. And then next to it, I have two flasks. This one is Cattleya velutina, and this one is Cattleya schilleriana var cerulea. And it's getting dark out, but I wanted to show you my last grow area. This is my front porch where I keep my rescues, and I got a major upgrade. Turns out there is a hose, but it's like around the corner, like back there behind all these gross plants. So we installed this um, hose thing that has like a spigot right there, so I can just turn the hose on and off from that position, which is awesome. And all my rescues, and then over here I put the questionable, what I thought was a brassia, but is probably something else. Um, and it gets fully shaded here behind this little bush. Okay, so that's that's the tour of my collection. Thanks for watching.